Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it's Easter weekend and in the UK for Easter we have had some amazing sunshine. I've been sat in the garden, I've been to the park with the dog and I've just come back um, with a cheeky little glass of champagne in the garden and um, yeah. So outfit of the day, leave our t-shirt and I've got the one with the with the peanuts um, because I'm a beagle owner. Anyway, little denim shorts and some Havana flip flops and these are the ones with the extra support so really really good. So today we're talking hair care. So I got up this morning, showered, washed my hair and then went straight out to walk the dog, came back, sunbathed all day, went out to walk the dog, came back drink champagne, now doing video. So that's going to be my day and I did actually mow the lawn in between so I've been a bit productive. Anyway, so hair was basically washed, shoved in a really bad bun which was redone during the park whilst walking around um, and it was an ideal opportunity for me to talk to you about one of my latest purchases. So I'm just going to change the camera angle really quickly and because you need to see the hair and I'll talk to you about what I've bought. One second. Right, so with the GHD Glide coming out and being so, so popular, there's been a real focus at the moment on hot brushes. So really good for straightening your hair, but also leaving that bit of volume because they're not as flattening as straighteners where you're just clamping the hair and getting that real flattened, sleek look. So with that in mind, I've been not quite on the bandwagon, but looking at some stuff, and I'll explain to you in a moment, and I'm going to leave it a moment, that come apparent why in a second, my thought process and what I've bought. And for me, I was really searching YouTube for some research on this before I bought it and was struggling severely. There's one really useful video by Nadine Baggett. Hopefully I remember that correctly. I'll put a link in the description box below to, to those who haven't seen because she compares the GHD Glide to the original Daphne and then also at the end covers off what I've bought which is this. The Daphne Allure which is a cordless um, straightening brush basically. They call it the Cord Free Revolution cordless hair straightening brush. So, it comes in a box like this. That was the lid. But it's one of those lids that just slides over and is awkward, so I've, I've just taken it off. Um, so I have used this already. So these are the, this is the instruction booklet that comes with it. And then inside, you have, show you this way around, you have a cordless brush, UK plug, with the USB cable. So a bit like with you know Kindles and Apple products, you can obviously, if you've got a USB charger direct, just use that or plug the USB charger into the UK plug and charge it that way. Um, then have the brush, and I'll go through the features of this in just a second. Um, I shall tell you the price first off. Um, especially, I thought I'd do this video for those also that are thinking about the GHG Glide, which is £125. By comparison, this is £150. I got it with, um, like if you sign up to the newsletter from the Daphne website, I got it from daphne.com direct. It was £144.95, I'm going to say. And with that, I also got a free, um, just towel, like a head towel, you know, the ones that you... Not the light absorbing ones that you wrap up, but you see there in the picture. So one of those, you know, like a turban style towel. And also, I've managed to lose it already. Ah, oh, here it is. A free sachet there of their hair serum, which is keratin infused. Some sort of shine hero. Oh, we'll give it a go, see what that's like. So that's what comes with it. Um, so, like I say, Daphne, Daphne actually created, as far as I'm aware, Daphne created the original hair straightening brush before GHD got involved. 
and they've got a traditional wired version. They also have another like slimmer travel sized wire version which apparently isn't quite so good and then they have um, this new cordless version which I got. I'll describe why in a second. It comes with this little thermal cover which I shall remove and then you can see what we have here are the bristles and the ceramic heating up bits with some bristles there. To charge it up the USB goes into this point here it just comes with a little rubber cover which you can just place back. This is the light that tells you when it's on and heating up and these are the battery indication lights. This is how you turn it on. So I'm going to turn it on now. And hopefully you heard that audible bleep. And then we can see it flashing red whilst it's heating up. Whilst it's doing that, I'll tell you a bit more about it. So this takes um, a few minutes to heat up. I timed this with Bestie Lorna, who has a GHD Glide the other day, um, actually only yesterday, to see what's quicker. The GHD Glide reaches its temperature first but literally there's seconds in it and I'm wondering if that's just down to that being mains operated and this being cordless. Now my reasons for looking at this, so I have the Dyson hairdryer which I absolutely love. I've also been thinking about getting the Dyson air wrap which is good for someone like me that has to wash and brush her hair almost every day. Um, I have you know, greasy roots so I'm trying to do it every other day but it's a work in progress. So for me these hair straightening brushes are really great for people that for their second day hair, you know, second, third, fourth day hair where you just want to restyle it in the morning after sleeping on it. Now for me that's not necessarily an option because I have to wash it. So I've then got to then completely dry it because with all of these brushes they're only for use on dry hair. That's really important otherwise you'll damage your hair. So for me, you see it's still heating up, um, and I fully charged it. Oh it's, it's hot! And there's a full full four lights. So for me, I chose this because this gives me the convenience of me daylight today. Who knows what how bad this is gonna look. Um, daylight today where I've had it up, I haven't literally done nothing with it since washing it. Just stuck it up out of the way because it's in the sun. And yeah look at that. And also for <laughs> For work, whereby, whereby I normally leave the house in a rush with wet hair and then do makeup on the train and everything else when I get there. I actually took this to work a couple of days ago and did my hair at my desk without a mirror and everyone was amazed. So, I'm going to brush my hair now and show you what this can do. And this is going to be a real test because hair has been bad all day. So yeah, so I chose this for my lifestyle whereby I'm potentially rushing around or if I'm away for if I'm away for like one night with work in a hotel can't bother to take my own hair dryer don't like the hotel hair dryers you know half the time the nozzle the styling nozzle is missing and we're just doing this in the viewfinder so we'll see how we go um and it's a bit of convenience and um, without having to have the cable with me travel light and I can just style my hair after drying it badly and then like I say, for work, I can do my hair on the go. I forgot my clip. One second. Right, so I've got my clip. Let's just section my hair. And let's do this. Um, I have quite fine hair, which is normally naturally straight. I've kind of got quite a bit of it, but it is fine. Just for those of you that wanted to know. I've gone through with the brush, that's the other thing that with most of these straightening brushes they say is to make sure that your hair is not free, you've gone through with the brush. Right. Also when using this, you're supposed to hold the end of the hair. So here we go, going through, holding the end of the hair. This is going to be a real test, I've only just bought this, so I've not fully tried it yet, and it's the second time I've used it, that's all. So I'm going through holding the ends. You can also go from underneath. Now because it's in a brush format and not like um, straighteners with the plates, apparently this just cover, it's got higher surface coverage. 
Now, just for those of you that want to know, my hair is getting a little bit hot, but not as hot as using straighteners. So you can see there, it is straightening out quite nicely. And like I said, it's been super kinked. It's been twirled up in a bun all day. So, and I was, you know, from like nine in the morning through till half five, six in the evening. That's how bad my hair's been today. So the other thing I thought would be really good is even if you, I don't know, say you go to work in the morning and then you want to go out in the evening and you just want to give your hair a little freshen up, get rid of any frizz. So that's that side done, move over to this side. What I will do as well is, like I say, Bestie Lorna has the GHD Glide and we will do a comparison video. We'll probably do a side by side do half a head each with each and we can go from there. And we'll see how much of this we can get done before the battery dies. I think it's about to die. Oh, how typical. Right, well that's the first layer, I say done. I'm going to take the clip out and do the next section of my hair. So you can see it really doesn't take that long at all. Maybe if you've got thicker hair it would take a bit longer. Probably would be better if I had a decent mirror as well. But viewfinder it is. And apologies, I'm reasonably close and I haven't got makeup on. Like I said, I've been having a relaxing day. And you can just curl the ends like that as well. You just want to give it a little bit of a curl by curling it under. Now apparently on one charge this lasts for half an hour and they say it's enough to do three heads of hair. Now it doesn't take that long to do a full head of hair but I'm wondering if part of that also allows for the heating up time. Right, we are nearly there, you can see the difference. I'll move back a bit as well. I mean this side, and this is a side I haven't even touched yet. So yeah, it's quite a difference. Let's try and go a bit quicker. They do say to start at the roots, hold the end of the hair and go through quite slowly. So slower than you would ordinarily use a brush. Obviously you don't want to go too slow because you'll just singe the hair. Because remember these are, yeah, effectively straighteners. It's just straighteners in a brush format. Like I say, these things aren't miracle workers. You're probably looking at my hair going, it still looks a bit of a mess, Joe. Nothing's a miracle worker, but certainly considering what I've done with my hair all day, <laughs> this is pretty good. We're nearly at the end. So it was the battery. Oh, it's got to go first. <laughs> Hell, battery. Right. It also isn't too hot to touch. Like, like I said, this is cold. It's hot, but it's not. You're not going to burn yourself like you will straighteners. And you can go over this. Hi, I'm back. 
So whilst the battery was charging, I went outside and cut down some part of a tree and got a load of bamboo. Um, so we got part way, as you can see. Um, still a bit way. Foliage. Um, I'll do another quick brush and then we'll carry on where we left off. Uh, we were nearly there, but I haven't touched it since. I obviously turned this off and I've just turned it on again and it's reheated. So let's just carry on with this top layer. Like I say, my hair is fairly fine, so I don't know what this would be like on sort of thicker hair or hair that's you know, just a bit harder to pass through if it's got like a natural curl or a wave. Mine can go a bit kinky, but that's it, it's not tight at all. So we're nearly there. You can see a little bit of steam does come off it. Not as much as straighteners, I'd say. And it feels really soft. It doesn't feel like it's drying the hair out too much. I mean, obviously what this isn't gonna do is put in a load of lift and volume in at the root where I've lost it, where I've had it tied back all day. But if you remember what it looked like at the beginning, I think we are somewhat improved. more. Right, we're nearly done, I've got something else to talk to you about afterwards. Right. It's actually really easy to use as well, I will say that. I've only had this a couple of days. And like I said, it's only my second time of using it. So I imagine as you use it more and more, you get more used to, you know, the feel of it and how to use it. Right. I'm going to turn it off now. You can see it's still smoking a bit. There's a bit of hair stuck in it there, which is probably what's making it smoke yeah so it's pulled a little bit see that it's pulled a little bit out but I'd say probably no more than the brush would I mean effectively what you're doing is brushing it so that's turned off now all hair just give it about there we'll over later so that's off I'll let that cool what you can do whilst it's cooling is apply this thermal cover like so. Oh, and the other thing it comes with, I meant to show you, is this. With uh, so it's a little, it's almost like um, wetsuit material, sort of slightly thicker. Um, so that's a little storage pouch as well for it with a little drawstring. So again, it makes it super travel friendly and you know super handbag friendly as well. So that is that. Let's just give this hair quick brush through with my <laughs> with my GHD paddle brush. No irony there. So again it's weird just doing this in the viewfinder. But you can see it's still got some body and some movement. All those kinks have gone and if you look at the main length here you can see that's all straight. So, it's not like I've got the best hair in the world anyway. Um, so yeah, so it's still soft, it's still shiny, and I think that's done a pretty good job. So overall, I'm happy with that. Now, when I do a handbag video, particularly what's in my bag, one of the items that always, <coughs> whoops, sorry, nearly fell on the cat. Um, so one of the items that always features is this. My trusty, 
also got hair in it, see? My trusty compact tangle teaser. Now, one of the things I also talk about with this, particularly when I'm using a smaller handbag, is this width here, that it's just, for certain bags it's a bit big, and I'd rather something smaller and slimmer, and I've been on, been on the desperate hunt and search for something better. So today, look, today I got delivered, or actually click and collect from John Lewis, I thought I did it in boots but I couldn't find it, so I got it from John Lewis, this Kent fold up brush, this is a volumising, it's vented for added volume, so you can use this for drying your hair as well, which obviously you can't with the tangle teaser. I bought this for a handbag hairbrush, um, and what this actually does is, oh it says on here, extreme vents achieve faster drying and total control whilst volumising and shaping your hair. Um, it also says that it's anti-static, and apparently the brush base absorbs static electricity to discharge the electricity, simply touch the backside panel with your thumb or finger whilst brushing. So that is this. Can I undo this? I want to show you the comparison in size, which is ripped the packaging, between this and the tangle teaser, but first let's show you the so it comes like this as a brush, um, anti-static 10, it says on there. There's the brush head. I guess quite naturally as you hold it, you put your forefinger on the base actually. Ooh, so that's nice. I have to say it's, being on traditional kind of hand, hand brush, hand brush? Hair brush shape, you've got the handle here for your hand. Not mouthful at all. And that makes it somewhat easier than the tangle teaser, which is just palm held. It's just a slightly easier experience. Now if I show you a comparison of size, Tangle Teaser, Kent Antiseptic Brush, you can see there's quite a difference there. Now if I fold this up, so the handle just folds like so. So from a handbag perspective, you've not got bristles that are gonna dig into your handbag, which is important to me as someone that looks after their bags. So the overall footprint of this, as you can see, is a lot smaller, um, depth and width. So height, yeah, so pretty much, I'll show you there, you can see pretty much the same height from top to bottom. The depth, though, is different, as you can see there. Depth is much, much different. I'd say that this is kind of the depth of the Tangle Teaser half section. And then obviously the width is this way, significantly less. So, super happy. I've eventually found something for my smaller handbags to replace this. Because I do like to brush my hair when I'm out. You know, I've got long hair, it's fine, it can get knotty easily. And I do want to be able to just give it a, a quick, you know, brush through when I'm out, so Kent, for anyone that's interested. And like I say, in the UK I got this from John Lewis, I'm sure you can get it from other places, but I did see it there and got it as a click and collect with some new cushions, because they were beagled. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video, I was going to be quick, obviously wasn't having to do two videos in one because the battery dying again didn't help. So yeah, if anyone's got any questions about the Daphne Allure, please do ask me because I really struggle to find any information online other than Daphne's own website and also to try and find any videos on YouTube. So I think it's fairly new out, I'm not sure. Um, certainly, for example, I couldn't see it for sale at many places. I couldn't find it on Amazon.co.uk and I couldn't find it in John Lewis. Yet both Amazon and John Lewis do stock the other two Daphne hot brushes. So got it direct from Daphne.com. I was worried when I went on there and they talked, you know, guarantee was spelled incorrectly. They talked about domestic and international shipping and I'm like, oh my god, is this coming all the way from America? Am I going to have customs to pay? Because in the terms of conditions they also talk about how they're not liable for any customs. But it came in just a couple, like two, three days. It came with the UK plug. It came just Royal Mail postage. So it's come from within the UK. So that's really, really good. So obviously nothing to worry about there from an international shipping perspective. I've probably offered on enough, but highly recommend it in conclusion. 
Um, you may not be looking at my head thinking, oh my god, that's not amazing, but if you saw, you know, from seeing what it was like at the beginning, that's pretty good. When I've been at work and it's just been slightly ruffled in the morning to then wanting to just give it that straighten, it's worked really well, even without a mirror again. So, yeah, and it feels really soft and smooth. There's not loads of flyaways, it's not really static. Um, so, yeah, I really recommend that, particularly if you want something on the go. I will do, as I said, a comparison video with the GHG Glide when Bessie Lula and I get together for that and you can see the difference. The GHG Glide looks like it's got a few more bristles and they're more condensed. I think that's going to be good for thicker hair or for hair that's a little bit more unruly or curly. But um, we will do that in a separate video and you can see then. So, I hope you found this useful. I'll stop waffling now and cook my dinner. Um, absolutely love it if you could subscribe. I am really trying to get my subscribers up, trying to reach that magic thousand number. So that would be wonderful if you could do that. Um, but yeah, I will see you soon for another video which is likely to be handbag related, I mean, in all fairness. So um, yeah, I will see you soon. Bye. How wonky is this camera angle now? Oh Lord.